reason behind this wave and what are the so called covid variants how are they formed and how are their transmission risk and are these vaccines enough to control this pandemic let's see in detail about that in an animated fashion as we know corona virus is a single stranded positive sense rna virus with multiple proteins on its surface mainly the s proteins s proteins are nothing but the keys of the corona virus which unlock the lock which is the ace2 receptor present in human epithelial cells so this s protein region is the focus of interest for the vaccines as well as the virus to undergo mutations so this is how the corona virus enters our respiratory epithelial cells by unlocking this ace2 receptor with its key the s protein and after entering the rna positive sense sheds off it produces multiple proteins and multiple viral progenies are formed so now why does this covid mutates see these are rna viruses they are highly prone for mutation because they don't have any mechanisms of repair and they can produce lots of mutated progenies within a short span of time yeah so let's explain this with an example see this pic who is this can you differentiate the differences it's our captain ms dhoni let's discuss this pic with a mutated covid virus so if you see what is the change just a minor change just just hair cell is changed same thing some minor mutations can happen with covid virus okay next is how is how, how much time did you take for identifying both our msd just minimal time just you saw the pic and you identified it same thing our immune system also takes very less time to detect these kind of mutants it starts producing antibodies and kills these viruses so before this identification by the immune system the virus starts attacking more and more cells as it could and creates an epidemic this is called antigenic drift which is more famous among influenza viruses okay responsible for epidemics now try identifying who is this same our captain edited in face app but now it's a major change and your time to identify him also took late same thing with covid if some major change happens in its appearance its structure it's very difficult to identify by our immune system or even vaccine immunities this is creating a risk for pandemic this is antigen shift a deadly mechanism so now let's see how does this naughty corona virus develops multiple mutations and poses a risk first is this mutation where the virus develops multiple magnets on the surface of s protein so that they get attracted to that lock ace2 receptor this is t61 spore spike then this lazy virus got super lazy by acquiring more and more magnets on the surface of s protein creating the g614 spike so thus two mutations happened t614g double mutant or the desi mutant which is circulating in more areas of maharashtra so now think what will happen if these mutant viruses enter our respiratory system this is the alveolar epithelial cells i'm drawing having the lock which is the ace2 receptor okay so now with this at magnetic force what will happen the super lazy viruses easily are attracted to the ace2 receptor they get easy entry into our cells and the rna unfolds producing lots of viral proteins all the s proteins are provided with multiple magnets meaning the mutant viruses are proliferating more and more within our cells spreading actively this mutation actually originated in china and spread to uk contributing to a wave there initially 
so now let's see about the intelligent nature of corona virus so our immune cells were shooting antibodies and killing this corona virus so what did this virus do is it acquired a mutation e484k with which it started to develop multiple shields to protect itself from this attacking antibodies it shielded all the s protein surfaces so now can this antibody identify it no can vaccine give 100% protection to you now thus it's always important to maintain social precautions apart from vaccinating this is the escape mutant which taught us this lesson now think what will happen if the super laziness is combined with intelligence won't it be destructive yes that is the n501y mutation for you combination of e484k with t614g meaning multiple magnets attracting to the ace2 receptor with multiple shields protecting it from immune system this is the variant of concern this escape mutants actually originated from south africa and started spreading towards india thus india is harboring all the destructive variants of corona virus now so with these variants coming into existence what happened was the speed of transmission of covid got increased we can compare the speed like speed of a bicycle normal covid and speed of a car and an airplane for these covid variants as they have lots of magnets to get attracted to our respiratory system so they can easily affect a large number of host this is nothing but infectivity okay so the variants are increasing the power of infectivity like in the first wave it was 4000 cases per day now yesterday it was 20000 cases per day in delhi next what about disease severity it means the ability of the organism to cause some severe cases among the infected individuals the killing power of an organism with the available trial results not much data is available whether the organism these and covid variants are that much virulent or not next we will compare contrast all the covid variants and their characteristic features first is d614 it developed few magnets on its surface so obviously infectivity will be increased yes next what about the viral load definitely it will be increased severity no escape from immunity or vaccines they can't escape as they don't have any shields to protect them next is d614g it has multiple magnets on its surface super lazy virus so viral load will be excessively high infectivity will be excessively high but they don't cause severe disease and they can't also escape from vaccine immunity as they don't have shields this is the clever escape mutant which also has increased infectivity but doesn't cause much severe disease main drawback is it can escape from vaccine immunity so that's efficacy of vaccines is decreased with these variants and also the same applicable to the next variant of concern n5015 why it also has elevated infectivity and also with decreased vaccine efficacy so these are the variants of concern for us with respect to clinical features these super lazy mute viruses like double escape mutants have increased affinity to ace2 receptors in the nasal mucosa so they have anosmia as a common feature and uh, these escape mutants escapes from the immune attack and as well as vaccines so this increase the risk of reinfection next some common features with respect to all these variants first is age group affected now the age pattern is slowly shifting more towards young people and first it was thought that it will occur only in the uh, winter seasons but the weather predominance is not seen now and also more of air transmission is seen than surface transmissions now less emphasis has been done on surface transmissions 
and more of thrombotic complications are seen. Next, what are the days important to be remembered after COVID infection so that you or your relative can be advised to take timely actions? First is, before the symptom starts, one day and after the symptom starts, three days are the period of transmissibility during which the virus is transmitted highly effectively. Next is day seven. This second week is very important as it has increased risk for ARDS at this point of time. So in this day seven to day 10, there is a role of steroids, plasma therapy, remdesivir, antivirals, tocilizumab, all these things to suppress the cytokine storm. Next, what they have found out recently is if a person has loss of smell, they are nothing but RTPs are positive. Next is after day nine, the virus stops replicating. So this is the reason why patients are kept in hospitals at least for 10 days before they are getting discharged, even they become symptomatically better. And this is the reason for home isolation at least for 10 days. Okay. Next is day 90. After day 90, if RT-PCR is still positive, then that means it is a reinfection. Then it's a simple bedside test useful for ambulatory COVID patients. They are asked to walk for six minutes and their saturation is monitored. If it falls by 5% before and after, then it indicates COVID pneumonia. This test should be done between day three and day six of the illness. Yeah, that's it. So. The X-ray patterns, CT patterns of ARDS patterns are really baffling the radiologist. I see you Salute to all our doctors who are working tirelessly in this pandemic. And one more thing I need to emphasize here. A legendary actor, Vivek, who got COVID vaccination some two days before, expired today due to coronary artery disease, a block in one of his coronary arteries resulting in myocardial infarction and cardiogenic shock. So it's not due to COVID vaccination. Please don't spread these rumors or support these type of rumors. He's a legendary actor, a comedian who actually planted 33 lakh trees in his life. R.I.P. sir.